So most people don't know that when I graduated high school, I wanted to go to beauty school. Seriously, I did. I did. I loved doing makeup and I loved doing hair. I loved doing color. I loved doing all sorts of stuff. And I was told I wasn't allowed to. But my father, in his defense, was thinking about, you know, my income. However, men don't pay nearly as much for haircuts as women do. He probably pays maybe $30 still to this day. And I'm pretty sure, you know, he doesn't have it colored. And because men have less hair, they simply spend less on products, whether it's styling products or shampoo even. They just spend less. Women, on the other hand, gosh, we spend a lot of money on our hair because our hair is truly our main accessory. For a lot of people, it's a trademark, whether it's a particular cut they maintain, a particular color, or simply a variety of colors that they are known for. I have been kind of wondering for years and years and years now, basically really since Dean was born, about kind of getting back into it. First off, the flexible job schedule. Um, you know, even though hair cutteries in the mall are open all of the time, um, salons have specified hours and people have certain days off, which would be perfect for me. And if something came up with Dean, then I could call clients and let them know or whatever. Point being, flexible scheduling. The other point being that a lot of people do stuff on the side. Don't tell. All, all of the people that I know that do hair in salons also help other people out on the side. For example, when I was a college student, um, I wasn't really able to afford the color that I wanted from the salon, and I had known the girl for long enough that she was like, look, I tell you what, come to my house this weekend, and I'll do it for a lot less money. And I was like, yes, hallelujah, praise the Lord. How did I not know about this? Well, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, gracious. Hmm. So, it has recently come up again, and I'm looking into official schools. Uh, it's interesting how since I've kind of brought it back up again in my mindset, how the world has reacted around me. I got it cut short for convenience and also because summer's coming. But because my hair's been short, I've been able to play with it a lot more um, as far as styling it and doing different colors. And it really is just a really awesome way to express myself artistically without having to pick up a paintbrush and clean up all that. You know, I just, I wear it. I wear my paint on my hair. That's what I think about it. Um, and it, it has encouraged so many other people to try new things that I, I love it. And I think I'm going to keep doing it until... You know, I either become a stylist and do it for the rest of my life or find an, find an office job. Basically. Basically. So, my point being that things have kind of popped up. And since I talked to my mom about it, more things have been popping up. So, I feel like life is kind of pushing me in this direction. Is this salary different from a normal office job? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh God, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm not looking to make a hundred thousand dollars. I just, I don't expect that that would happen. That'd be awesome. I could be, you know, a colorist to the stars. That'd be cool. You know, but, but here, here with my sons, you know, <laughs> with the kids, I have to stay close for the kids. Um, but the convenience alone is, is a super perk. Totally, totally super perk. Um, and I, I've had people ask me, you know, what well, were you, do my hair. Will you color my hair? I touch up my sister's hair sometimes between, you know, cuts and if she's short on money, I just kind of, you know, do a little bit. She's particular. Um, I had a girl today, this morning, I went and met someone that I've known on Facebook for a little bit. So she's seen me go through a few colors recently. And um, she was like, I want you to do my hair. And I was like, dude, I'm, I'm not licensed. I don't actually work at a salon. She's like, I don't care. I've seen your hair. I love your hair. I want you to do my hair. And I was like, well, you can't say no. You know, <laughs> I'd be I'd be stupid to say no. So I'm embracing that path right now. I'm kind of figuring out a way to, to officially get on that path because, you know, Maryland specifically has uh, a lot of license requirements. And 
it's not just cosmetology. There's a lot of other things that go on a license. So there, I'm figuring out the technicalities. Point being that I'm I'm kind of excited about embracing something new that I've secretly always wanted to do. Whenever I visit my stylist, you know, instead of talking about the Kardashians and sports, which I don't have any interest in both, I always ask for their stories. I always ask. So, you know, I'm, I'm really interested in what you guys do. How did you get into this? You know, what reason did you choose this? What do you love? What do you hate? You know, and when you ask people to talk about themselves, like something, something happens, like their light just kind of glows a little bit bigger and everyone has a story. Everyone has a story. Everyone, everyone. And a lot of people tell me stories of, you know, I had kids and I needed something different or I really loved this and I wanted to do this in a different way but I found that this was a better path for me, you know? Um, a lot of people had divorces, honestly. Um, one gentleman came out as gay to his wife, <laughs> got a divorce, and decided to become a hairstylist. So, hey, everybody has a story. And everybody's story has been really cool. Um, it's a really unique profession. You know, most of the people have tattoos. Most of the people have wild hair, you know? Um, everybody pretty much wears black because it's a salon thing, apparently. Um, food service thing too, so, you know. But it's, you know, it's unique to every salon, to every person, and it kind of allows you to be an individual <laughs> helping other people to express their individuality. And it's artistic. I love that it's artistic. I super love that it's artistic. Um... So I think that, I think I'm going to be embracing that path, which is pretty cool. How does that fit into my schedule? I have no idea. Um, I've only found like two schools that do it even semi-locally and, you know, it's, it's like 50, 40, 50 hours a week. Um, so, and of course, you know, money, money. So I'm, I'm looking for a path, but I'm excited to kind of be pushed into something I, I've always loved anyway. So yeah, if you want me to do your hair. <laughs> now, I, I look forward to helping my friends once I, I get on the path. I don't know if you have to sign up for a student license or something, but I would totally do that. If I get my student license, I'll do your hair. Um, but I love you guys, and it's it's really it's nice to share, finally, something clicking that, you know, has kind of been there all my life. I've always done crazy things with my hair, always, you know. Uh, that's just who I am. So this, I feel like, is kind of the next step. And I know it's not going to be a bajillion dollar a year job, and that's fine. I don't, I just need enough to take care of me and the kids. That's all. You know, financially independent. That's everybody's goal. Everyone wants to be, I don't think, everyone says I want to be rich. I think rich has different meanings for different people. This, I think, would fit, would fit the role very well for me. So, wish me luck. Give me tips if you have your stories on finding your path or if you have a favorite hairstylist, you know, give her a shout out or him a shout out. <laughs> I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.